If you feel you've been there, seen it all, done it all, well, it's time to shake you out of your complacency. What do you do in a city that never sleeps? If you're getting dark circles and the traffic and pollution of Bombay are really getting to you, then we've got good news for you. Travel with our team to a little town that's close to Bombay, but is as different from it as chalk and cheese. Deep, dark, mysterious, and incredibly old, these caves are still as they were intended to be, remote and serene. Carved out of a single rock by Buddhist monks in the first century BC, the Pandavlina Caves were a sort of meditative site. It seems hard to believe that these caves, 20 in all, were abandoned because they found the stone to be of poor quality. The work was left incomplete. Little did they know that 2,000 years later, these caves would still be intact. The caves were abandoned and remained hidden till recently. In fact, so hidden were these caves that the Pandavas found them ideal to hide in for an entire year during their exile, so it said. A 14-kilometer drive from Pandilvina gets you to Diolali. It wasn't only the Buddhist monks who found this place attractive. The British did too, and sort of rediscovered it in the second half of the 19th century. During the days of the Raj, because of his good weather and rejuvenating air, Diolali camp became a resting place where young officers could come and get acclimatized before being posted throughout India. And that's how Jolali Cantonment was established. Not only that, physically and emotionally distraught British soldiers in danger of cracking up found themselves in Jolali. Soon its name became synonymous with a breakdown. Hence the British idiom to go Jolali, meaning to go nuts. The military hospital doesn't get many stressed out soldiers now. But Yolali was for a long time famous for sanatoriums where the ailing came to recuperate. Many of the sanatoriums over here have become redundant, mainly because of changes in the style and pace of life. Others have become guest houses or have been sold. If you decide to come here, you could do more than just enjoy the fresh air. You could take long walks in the south of the Olali, a trip to Wilson Dam, 25 kilometers away. Visit the Triambakeshwar Temple, 30 kilometers away from where you could hike to Brahmagiri, the source of the Godavari. After the British left, our guys took over. Jolali has a cantonment where artillery officers are trained. On any other city road, this band would have been a traffic stopper. Here, it's only outsiders like me who stop to give it a second glance. Apart from soldiering, these guys have to practice two hours a day for at least a year to qualify as band members. Talk about bringing discipline to music. These chaps are truly regimented. But then, who wouldn't mind getting barracked in the Olali? Jolali does something to you. Pilton was so done in by the place when he visited many years ago that he never left. Yes? Is this Pilton's residence? Yes. He's a painter who pursues his art here. 
Hello, are you Mr. Filton? Yeah. yeah. I've come to collect a painting. Please. These are paintings on glass with the use yeah, of metal. Yeah. I call them glass collages mm. between two. Uh, what made you choose this form of art? Slowly I developed it. He says Diolali inspired him to change his medium. Instead of canvas, he now uses bronze and other metals. The spit and polish of his military neighbors like must have rubbed off on him. Not surprisingly, Pilton's work adorns the walls in contournments across the country. Talking of contournments, I've been invited for a round of golf at the course with some senior officers, including a general. Phew, made it just on time. One minor detail though, I haven't played golf, ever. And now that I'm here, I intend to make the most of it. Golf, I've decided, wasn't so hard to pick up. It just required skill and loads of practice. And since I don't have time, I left the pros at their game and decided to get social. Not content with the disastrous golf round, I made a go for billiards. Well, at least my opponent was new to the game too. The institute is where the officers unwind, and not everyone is invited. But I must say that being a travel reporter does open many doors. Unfortunately for me, today is a weekday, and there aren't many people around. They can't afford to stay up. There's PT at dawn. Come, come. Come, come. <laughs> 